All right, guys, welcome back to Hanging with Heavy, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, please visit BoatLoans.com. All right, on today's show, what we got, we're going to do uh, some prep on our fillet knives. I like using uh, high carbon steel, especially when we're going to be filleting fluke today, doing the double uh, fluke fillet. It's uh, probably one of the most difficult uh, ones to really master, It's a, but it's a great, you know, a lot of people love it. One, but you, it definitely takes a little bit to learn. So that's what we're going to do today. But first, I want to get our knife prepped because I use uh, a special knife that I really enjoy, real flexible. So I'll show you how I clean it up, get it ready for use. I really like and always use when I had the fish cleaning business. Real flexible. I mean, this knife has seen hundreds, maybe even thousands of fish. It's been through the ringer. But you can't, you got to grind them down and use them to get them real flexible. And the key with the double fluke is you got to have a nice, flexible, thin blade that you can run up the backbone and come out each side. So what I do is, uh, you know, you can use steel wool, you can use just about anything. But what I do is um, get the get all the corrosion off of it because you want to get it all nice and clean. We work this side real well, get all that off. You can't use uh, high carbon blades in a uh, commercial establishment but for doing your stuff at home nothing holds an edge better you know too much stainless in it just you can you know you got a good original blade and uh sharp on it but you can't can't keep it going so and they, you know they sell the wooden the wooden handle ones we wrap them so we have grip when we're cleaning cleaning fluke um i need a little bit of oil should been uh should use mineral oil but you know what you just hold on a piece of Sandpaper, you know, you gotta wash it all off. It's no big, no big deal. You can use sandpaper. You can use steel wool. Just use a little bit of oil on it. Get it into the into the grit, and then just start working up and down the blade. Just keep it pinned to the pin of the wood. You're not gonna cut yourself. Work up here. Get all that rust. Get that blade nice and clean. Knock all that corrosion off of it. We've we run it through the knife sharpeners. Don't rub, don't rub into the blade. You just want to rub the, you know, we're just rubbing the edges. Get all that off of it. Clean it up. You want to keep these blades oiled or keep, you know, do this if you haven't used them in a while. They were already starting to take a lot of that corrosion off. You know, it'll take a while to get it. You'll never get it up to, you know, new finish. It's got some pitting in it. But. If you got a triple edge stone that's real wide, you can run the blade on that. You just don't want to cut into it with a regular motion, as a, you know, so you don't want to hit the edge too bad. See, both sides are getting cleaned up pretty good. Tip's got got some pitting in it. This one's probably gonna good enough for home use, but it's probably. If I still had the fish cleaning business, I'd have to retire this one. So, yeah, I got some pits in it. But, that's how you want to, you know, keep these blades clean, especially the high carbons. You know, you want to... I just... The high carbons hold a, such, such a better blade. Or edge, I should say. Hold a better edge. You know, home use... The stainlesses are, you know, are great. Hey, they don't rust up. You don't have to see the, you know, you don't have to put the extra work into them. But sometimes that extra work is worth it. So we'll just clean this up a little bit, and then we'll uh, clean up our station. We'll get that fluke up here, and we'll do the double, the double fluke uh, fillet, and show you the step by steps on that. <laughs> 